Hello, this video is for friends that are following my projects on YouTube. Uh, this project here is a plasma speaker. A uh, plasma speaker basically creates audio by increasing and decreasing the power going to a plasma arc. As the flame gets hotter and cooler, very quickly it creates sound pressure waves which create sound, audio, or music in this case. Um, first off, uh, we'll start with power supply. We uh, have a 22 amp Variac that uh, supplies the power um, over to this box here. This box is a, it, it just contains a diode bridge, some capacitors, uh, the shunt and the uh, the amp gauge so that I can read the current draw. Um, it supplies uh, 30 volts DC to the high power side of the board. Um, in the back I have a 12 volt uh, battery pack that um, supplies the low voltage side on the board. Uh, that drives the uh, TL494 chip that uh, uh, modulates the audio. Um, down here we have the uh, Nano DSO. This is uh, used for monitoring the the uh, uh, waveform coming in and uh, also to monitor to see if there are any high voltage spikes that comes into that comes back into the audio source. The biggest problem I've had is burning out my audio source. Um, I've I've pretty much taken care of that problem now, but um, there's a lot of uh, high voltage, high frequency noise that comes back, and it can damage uh, sensitive electronics. Um, this is the board. This is the TL494 chip. Um, I'm using frequency modulation on this board, so I use an op amp to modulate the uh, frequency on the TL494 and then I have two driver chips. This board can run push-pull or uh, half-wave bridge which means both just pulse or they can uh, it'll trigger this one and then this one and back and forth at 50% duty cycle to make a AC square wave across a center tap primary on the flyback transformer. So uh, it takes the 30 volts DC coming in and pulses it, uh, a score wave pulse across the primary onto the uh, flyback transformer and the flyback transformer steps up the voltage to a very high voltage. Um, in this case it's probably somewhere around like 60,000 volts. And then the, the pulse width is then uh, frequency modulated to create the hotter and cooler sparks. These are uh, uh, just doorknobs or um, uh, just they're just cabinet knobs that I got at Home Depot and I've drilled and put tungsten rod in them for uh, high voltage terminals. So uh, how about a demonstration here? First thing we'll do is uh, connect my uh, DC supply and uh, this is going to power up the, the board and now you can see the LED light is on and uh, then we'll, we'll power up the little iRiver here this is uh, about a 10 year old mp3 player it's kind of cool though it only holds about 256 megabytes of music so it's, uh, it's one of the very early ones and uh, we'll hit play on that All right, we've got uh, we've got some audio going in here, and then we'll come over here and turn on the I 30 volts DC supply. And now you can hear that we have audio coming through the the plasma arc. The audio pickup on uh, 
in these cameras is usually pretty poor. Um, the audio is really, really quite clear, very crisp. Um, because the arc is so small, uh, about one inch in this case, the uh, the speaker produces mostly high end, high frequencies, uh, treble. Uh, there is some lower tones coming through, but because of its small size, it's unable to reproduce the the lower audio very well. As you can tell, the, the arc is almost completely silent uh, when there's no audio being played through it. It's actually being switched on and off at 130 kilohertz. So it's far beyond our audio range, so we can't hear the actual pulses, only the audio being modulated through it. Um, And I have the uh, terminals in this uh, six inch plumbing end cap. Just doesn't give a little uh, audio reflector. Anyway, so this is the uh, plasma speaker project. Um, it's a very early stage. It. Uh, this is very rough. There's going to be uh, more power, more voltage run to the arc so it's larger, it'll be louder, and uh, there'll also be uh, a left and a right channel. So over here I actually have uh, the board number two that I custom made. Uh, so these are PC heat sinks that I've got attached to them. So that'll be the, the other channel there. Most of the audio comes right out of the very top on the on the axis of the, the arc. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, please rate, comment. I uh, appreciate your feedback, and uh, please like the videos. Um, this is Pete Dog signing out. Thanks for watching.